Welcome back to the Stephen Knight Show. Aaron Cosby, how you feeling? Stephen Knight, what's up, what's up, buddy? I can't complain. You know, crazy world, a lot going on, but how is it for you up there in uh, North Carolina? It's, um, it's, it's been, it's been emotional. Um, George Floyd, he was actually here. His, his um, body was, was here on um, Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So, um, yeah, it was really, really em emotional. There were um, protests in Durham and in Raleigh. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. It's a lot. It's a lot going on. People are not taking it anymore. They're not taking it anymore. Yeah, it's a new day. It's a new it day. It's a new day. It's a new yeah. day. Yeah. yeah. It's good. That's well, good. I know we got stuff to talk about with sports now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> How yeah. you feel with all that? <laughs> yeah. Well, before I get to, like, the the meat of what's going on with, with sports, let me just say this. Um, the NBA is now going, going to be back. They'll, they're starting back in July. It's yeah. going to be, um, I believe it's 22 teams 22, total. 22, yes. Yeah, 20, 22 teams total. And they're going to be playing down in or, or Orlando, so in Disney World, I believe, in, in, in that area. And um, it should be interesting. There, I don't believe that there's going to be fans, so there's yeah. there. Um, we'll have to watch it on TV and on our iPads, our phones, whatever, our laptops. And um, it'll be, I don't know. It, it, we'll see. Did you see, the, uh, I can't remember what country, but they brought back baseball back. You know, um, I, can't, yeah. I can't, can't country off the top of my head, but they had in the, um, the you know, behind the dugout, they yeah. had stuffed animals filling up the seats. <laughs> That's... <laughs> Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stuff animals off to the seat, like behind where you can see the camera, you know. Okay. So it's kind of interesting. You don't get the actual sound, I mean, of a of, of a crowd, but okay. No crowd. No. Nope. Okay. All right. I don't think we're going to do that here in the States. Might, but I strongly doubt that. But just not actually hearing the crowd noise will be. Um, it will be weird. Initially. Be, yeah. Initially, yeah. I think we'll get used to it whatever, but it, it'll be all right. It'll be all right. All right. So, of course, let's go ahead and talk about it. Mm-hmm. What? Drew Brees? Okay. <laughs> like, yeah. Okay. You want to lead off on it? or? Wanna... Well, so he was doing an interview. Um, Drew Brees was doing an interview, and they were asking him about the um, kneeling for the flag, the protest. And he said that he would never re uh, support anything that disrespects the flag. And he mm -hmm. went, to went on to talk about how he has family members who served in the, in the uh, military. It was grandfathers, right. You're right, and he feel like it's disrespectful. Well, backlash hit instantly. And um, even his former teammates came out against him saying that it has nothing to do with the flag, you know, and they just kind of took about the privilege that he doesn't, um, understand. Whoopi Goldberg actually made a video saying that she had family who served in the military, military as well, and they couldn't even vote. And when they came back from serving, they couldn't even get the, the medals and the awards uh, that, you know, a lot of times the, the people who are celebrated get. And so he did come back and apologize. He said that he realized he was tone deaf, um, but people really aren't feeling his apology. They, they think it goes into the whole thing, like with the Colin Kaepernick situation, which I know we're going to talk about that with the um, NFL um, commissioner. But um, he's apologized more than once, but people are really are, some people are calling for him to be, uh, to, to be fired or to, you know, lose his job. Yeah. Um, he's not going to lose his job. Oh, yeah, I don't he's, think so. He's not. I don't think that he should lose his job. He shouldn't. He should lose his job. He, what he said was, was was bad. It was it was wrong, um, but we shouldn't lose our jobs for saying things that that are wrong. You know that's yeah yeah. I I just don't think you know especially he, he, that was his experience. It's a teachable, was, it's a teachable yeah, moment. It, if it's a moment. Yeah, we yeah. don't let's let's hold him accountable. Mm -hmm. But 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 don't fart no. Nah, hold him yeah. accountable for that. And he's actually learning now. He he is he is learning. Um, 
what he said was just, yeah it was tone that it was it was like dude it was bad and just to add on top of that Stephen when our um when our black soldiers came back from war in World War Two and World War One they not only did they not only did they come back to discrimination and not getting their medals some of them were actually murdered in yeah. their uniforms they were yeah. lynched they were lynched wearing their uniforms so yeah, yeah so yeah drew Brees, bro tone took beyond tone yeah not to we, we ain't no not anymore nope yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. and also for the record the um it was not a, the whole kneeling was not about the flag it was not about the flag i don't know how many times People have to tell. It has nothing to do with the flag. Not the flag. It had nothing to do with the flag or with the national anthem. It was not about that. And they still want to say the opposite that it was. Yeah. And I'm like, what? That to me is when you again, you you have this preconceived. Yeah. It, it, it's going. Yeah. You just got to keep re reiterating it to them. Like Most it's definitely. not about the flag, which is sad. Yeah, that we have to do that. But anyway, hope hopefully Drew has learned. And, and just let me add this also. Drew's initial apology was so messed up, it was so wrong. Yeah. Because it 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 was a statement. Like the bruh, mm -hmm. you gave that, you talked about your, you know, the the whole flag, this, this, and that on camera, full chest, full body. Yeah. But then as an apology, you want to give some PR apology statement, whatever. I'm like, nah, bruh. Nope. Yeah, no, that let's, long road. Anyway, let's move on to the NFL commissioner, Roger Good, uh, Gatto, Gatto, Goodell. Goodell, Goodell, Goodell. Yeah, Goodell. what are your thoughts? He he's so what he says is that we were wrong for not listening to the NFL players earlier. Encouraged all to speak out uh, peacefully, peacefully protest and peacefully protest. Uh, we the NFL um, believe Black Lives Matter. Protests around the country are embellished. Em <laughs> I can't talk, I can't talk. Uh, to the country to the uh, centuries of silence inequality and oppression of black players coaches fans and staff I'll be reaching out to players who have raised their voices and others on how we can improve one thing that people noticed that he did never never once acknowledge Colin Kaepernick not once not once what are your not thoughts it's bam there it is right there that is right there. And also, words are words. We need action. NFL, yeah. what are you going to do as far as hiring more minority coaches? Um, these owners need to need to hire more minority coaches. Yeah. Um, also, at the executive level, right. we need more minorities. In yeah. Yes, absolutely. And we need some minority owners. Mm -hmm. We need some actual black people who actually are owning teams. Yeah. You know, let you know. Yeah, we... Yeah, yeah. So once the NFL kind of can actually put put Puts their money, behind it. Yeah. yeah, and yeah, where they're not this, then cool. But for right now, it's just chatter. It's just, oh, it's just it's chatter, chatter, man. Yeah. It's just chatter. It's almost like they're just waiting for this to kind of fade, fade, right. fade away. And it's not. And it's and it's not. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Not, it's not yeah. going to. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. Well, you brought. Thank you, as always. We appreciate your perspective, Ron's perspective. Uh, your Instagram will be in the bio. Everyone follow A. Ron Cosby, our law student. And uh, have a great week, OK? You, thank you, brother. Same to you. All right, right back after this.